Hello and welcome to the session. Let's work out the following problem. It says a pair of dice is thrown seven times. If getting the total of seven is considered as success, find the probability of no success, at least six successes. So let's now move on to the solution. And let's first write the sample space for the experiment of throwing a pair of dice. Since we are throwing a pair of dice, there would be 36 possible outcomes. These are 1, 6. First we add 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. Similarly, we can write out all the outcomes. So we have written all the possible outcomes. And these are 36 in numbers. Now let E be the event of getting a total of 7. Now this is considered as success. The probability of getting a total of 7 would be 6 by 36. As there are 6 outcomes which are possible to which are favorable to E that is which gives us a total of 7 as 1, 6, 2, 7, 3, 4, 4, 3, 5, 2 and 6, 1. So these are 6 in numbers and the total number of outcomes are 36. So the probability of getting a total of 7 is 6 by 36 that is 1 by 6. So the probability of not getting a total of 7 will be 1 minus probability of getting a total of 7 that is 1 minus 1 by 6 that is 5 by 6. Now we are throwing a pair of dice 7 times. So let X denotes the number of successes in seven throws. Now, X is a binomial variate since the number of throws are finite. Therefore, X is a binomial variate right where n is 7 and p the probability of success is 1 by 6 now we know that the probability at x is equal to r for the binomial distribution is given by n c r p to the power r q to the power n minus r where r goes from 0, 1, 2 up till n. So you need to remember the binomial distribution for this. Now here we have to find probability of no success. That is probability of x0 since x denotes the number of successes in 7 throws and we have to find the probability of no success. That means x takes the value as 0. Now we'll apply this distribution here. So probability of x at 0 will be 7c0 p to the power r that is 1 by 6 to the power 0 into q. q is 5 by 6. 
फाइव बाई सिक्स टू दी पार सेवन माइनस जीरो सो दिस इज सेवन सी जीरो वन बाय सिक्स टू दी पार जीरो इज वन इन टू फाइव बाय सिक्स टू दी पार सेवन एंड सेवन सी जीरो इज वन सो दिस इज फाइव बाय सिक्स टू दी पार सेवन Now in the second part we have to find the probability of at least 6 successes the probability of at least 6 successes that means There could be six successes or more than six successes in seven throws. That means x takes the values greater than or equal to six, and since there are seven throws, so it would be probability of x equal to six plus probability of x equal to seven. Now again, probability of x is equal to six will be seven c six. One by six to the power six, five by six to the power seven minus six plus seven c seven. One by six to the power seven, five by six to the power seven minus seven. Now seven c six is seven. And this is one by six to the power six and five by six to the power one plus seven c seven is one into one by six to the power seven and five by six to the power zero. So this is equal to seven into one by six to the power six five by Six to the power one plus one by six to the power seven. So now here we can take one by six to the power seven common. So we take one by six to the power seven as common. So we have inside. Now since we are taking one by six to the power seven common, here we have seven into five plus one. So this is equal to. One by six to the power seven into thirty-five plus one. So this is one by six to the power seven into thirty-six. Again, this is one by six to the power seven. Thirty-six is six to the power two. So this is equal to one by six to the power five. Since here. One by six to the power two gets cancelled with one by six to the power two. So this gets cancelled with this, and we have one by six to the power five. So the probability of no success is five by six to the power seven. And probability of at least six successes is one by six to the power five. So this completes the question and the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.